absolutely the right. Yeah. Wow, I am <laughs> blown away by both of these. It's just so flat. The tree is so flat. Hey guys, it's Max, and this is my brother, Vadim, and my sister, Angelica. And today we are doing another unbiased blind camera comparison with the brand new iPhone 12 Pro Max, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, and the Pixel 5. Now you might be wondering, how is this a blind, unbiased comparison? Well, um, yesterday I went out and I took a bunch of photos and some videos. We have 30 different samples here and neither of these two have seen them. So today I lined all of them up. We're gonna be looking and choosing, they are, which one is their favorite without knowing which one. And then we're gonna see the results. And we want you guys to grab, grab a piece paper. of paper or take out your phone and play along with us so you can see which one of these phones take the best images for you, not what brand you like. Now we already did this video with the regular 12 Pro, but we're gonna do it again because the Pro Max has an updated wide camera and the telephoto and the Note 20 Ultra also got a software update. And along with that, I'm excited because I actually went through and looked at all of these images and I ranked them one to five. So five being, I can't believe it's coming from a smartphone, one being, I probably would delete this photo. And so I actually don't know the results of what I ranked all 30 of these uh, shots we're gonna look over. And at the end, I'm gonna find out what the overall scores are. So this is the first shot right here. Um, this is early morning, the sun came up, and uh, let me know what you like better. All right, so this one's pretty tough, but I think the center is oversaturated. It looks really nice, but it's kind of too much. Mm -hmm. The one on the right is too flat, so I'm going with the left. Yeah, me too, for sure. The, the one on the left looks pretty detailed. The one in the center definitely looks kind of fake, almost like it's art. And then the one on the right is just so, so flat. 12 Pro Max. 12 Pro Max, ah. first one. This is a shot using the telephoto, so zooming in and also low light. That's actually a very, very tough shot. There's a lot of lighting in there. Center, instantly. This is your, your preference. What, which one would you want in your phone? I definitely think the center one's the best. Make sure you guys are voting and following along. And then if you guys need more time, just pause it as soon as the image shows up before we tell you guys our opinions. And that is the 12 Pro Max. Wait, is this a zoom shot? This is a zoom shot. This what? is like 10 times zoom. And I gotta right. say, I wasn't expecting it because this actually has a telescopic yeah. optical zoom crazy camera. Mm -hmm. And the iPhone has a 2.5 times zoom now, it's slightly better than before. That's crazy, man. But it did a good job. Look, that's not blown out right here either. The dynamic range, more detail, a little bit more noise, but wow. surprising. Standard camera here. Whew. Yeah, I think I'm going with the right. The one in the center I like, but I started noticing all the noise in that sweater, in the top, everywhere. So the right is the cleanest. <laughs> no way. <Wow. man. laughs> 12 okay. Pro Max. And this is um, wow. a portrait shot. And it was super windy. So this is a very tough situation. Hair is flying all over. This is a really tough situation, but I think I'm gonna go with the center. I'm noticing more kind of detail everywhere. The one on the right, there's like some weird flaring going on and like some weird stuff going on with the skin. I don't know what that is. I don't know, something about the center one just feels kind of off. Okay. Nope. 20 Ultra, 20 Ultra, 20 Ultra, 20 Ultra Max. No love for the Pixel. Yet, I, I'll I say really, yet. I really <laughs> liked yet. the like the blur portrait of it, even though it kind of blurred out some of her hair. This is a tough dynamic range shot. They all actually did pretty good job because the sun was coming out, it was super dark here. Uh, I think I like the one on the left the most. I'm going with the center. I like that one. I feel like the one on the left might be brought up too much. I feel like the one on the right kind of crushes the darks. And I like that in the center, I'm seeing like detail in the bushes and stuff, so. Pixel. Pixel. Hey, look at that, another for the note. And here is our first selfie. It's backlit here. All right, with this one, honestly, I think I'm going with the right. I'm seeing the most detail in the hair, the beard, everything. The most detailed, even though the skin looks a little bit warm, I still prefer that. Like over the center, it's kind of like weird and pasty. I'm definitely going with the left, actually. Oh, the left. Pixel 5. So mm -hmm. the cooler white balance is correct here, but I love the Note 20 Ultra shot. Mm -hmm. I was like amazed by how good it looks. That, that selfie is yeah. awesome. The iPhone, they haven't fixed um, selfies blowing out the background. All right, and we have a food shot on the grill. And even though a couple of these look like portrait shots, they're not. I'm going with the right, man. That chicken looks good. It's so crispy, like all that little detail you see. Yeah. Pixel, pixel five. Hey, first one for the pixel. And I wanna say surprisingly, when you're this close, 
I didn't expect the Pixel to have some natural blur because it has by far the smallest sensor, but mm -hmm. you stu still get some. Of course, Pro Max, bigger sensor, and then Note 20 has the biggest That no one. one looks but bad. But this looks horrible. This I don't know like what raw. the heck happened here. And we have a portrait shot. This one is kind of off. Most of these I lined up perfectly. This one I try to do a wide portrait, and mm -hmm. one of these phones wouldn't. I mean, I'm going with the right. I think the center, it's too much blur. It looks just fake because it's just it looks like he's been Overboard. photoshopped into it. Yeah, the right looks actually really natural like a regular yeah. DSLR would do. I agree. Like. And Pro 12 Max, Pro okay. Max. So it was That's interesting good. that it let me get this wide. The pixel actually crops in when you do a portrait, but it let me get back far enough. Mm -hmm. But then some of the blur is just weird and messed up. The Note 20 actually didn't let me get that far back. And this is mm -hmm. the first video. And I know some of you guys asked for more videos. So we do have five out of the 30 are video clips here. And let's go ahead and play it back. And you guys can watch it back a couple times if you need. Center. Easy. Already? Yep. The right, there's just so much mm. sharpness and just weird stuff going on. Same with the left. I'm going with the one in the center because the outside two kind of made me feel sick. That is the 12 Pro Max. The 12 so Max. Um, looking at this screen, I'm seeing a lot less differences than on the 6K display. On the 6K display, it was really obvious mm -hmm. in every single way. And here we have a zoom shot. Easy. This is about 10 <laughs> times zoom. Center. Really? Center. Look at that. Easy. No, 20 no, Ultra. 20. And here we have a portrait mode with the telephoto. I like the one on the left. All right, I'm also going with the left. It was between the left and the right, and I just don't like how the right looks so flat, and I think it's too warm. All right, and no. Note, 20. Note 20 Ultra. The Pixel 5 has a crazy amount of blur. This is me shooting against the sun for those backlit situations where flaring can come up. Instantly the right. Yep. So easy, like. Okay. Barely any flaring. Mm. So what's the second best? <laughs> or they both suck. <laughs> <laughs> left, of course. The I left mean, is this second is horrible. Best. Like this is unusable. And the Pixel 5, Pixel 5. with its small wow. bump without the extra rings and what smaller happened, sensor. Man? And the iPhone That's with crazy. these beautiful gold rings and stacked up get a lot of reflections. Bless me. Bless you. Bless you. This one here is a macro shot with the sun hitting the leaves. I mean, I'm going with the right. First of all, it's not blown out. The center is blown out. And the one on the left is just kind of dark. Um, if I were completely <laughs> honest, I kind of like how the center one is blown out. I think it looks really nice. It looks kind of magical. I'm gonna go with that one. Okay. And this one also is not a portrait shot. It's just close up. And here we have one more video. Once again, you guys can go back and rewatch it before we find out which one is which. Center. <laughs> hey, dude, stop. <laughs> they all have a lot of flaring. All right, so I'm going with the center because the one on the right, first of all, so much sharpness. It's I, crazy. It's horrible. <laughs> The one on the left, I think it has like artifacting and it just doesn't look as good. Even here when it froze, like your face is all flat. The center has the best dynamic range and everything Five just four. looks super sharp. It's not over sharpened. I agree. 12 Pro. The Pixel just loves sharpening. It's crazy. Yeah. And this is a shot of uh, charcoal being lit. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I like the one on the left. I feel like it's overall the best balance. The one in the middle looks really cool because it's dark and you all, all you see is the flame, but I feel like it just crushes it too far. I definitely 100% like the one in the center yeah. the most. So the left one, <laughs> why do I want to see all that detail for? I don't hey, want to see that. I don't, I don't want to see that. I want to see what's important. Can you guys at least agree so cool. that this one looks the worst? Yeah, the one yeah. on the right is the worst. <laughs> all right, and Pixel wow. 5 is for Vadim. Oh, I got a Pixel that nice. And uh, 12 Pro Max, it just exposed it looks, for the fire. It looks it so interesting. cool. And now we're getting into night mode. So that was already at sunset. It's getting dark at four o'clock now. I love the one on the right. Like Me look too. at all the detail you get everywhere. It's not too warm. I feel like the center's too warm. And, and if you look at the, the, the mm -hmm. parkade, whatever that is, it's not blown out, but you also get the blue color and it's nice and sharp too. That kills it. Pixel, Pixel 5. Man, five. that's good. So we're going to see if the Pixel is going to make good. a comeback. Actually, you wow. have a good amount of Pixel votes so yeah. far. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. So for Vadim, maybe the Pixel we'll see. S. And I do also want to mention that we are going to be comparing the 12 Pro Max to the 12 Pro that doesn't have that extra zoom and that sensor, that sensor shift. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys subscribe. And then with that, you guys can help us reach 500,000 subscribers before the end of the year. And this is another video example. So let's go ahead and take a look. And you guys can always rewind and check it out another time if you need it. I mean, this is night and day. Like, this is mind blowing. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing is the colors. The yeah. one on the left. It looks really great, but the the other two look green, and there's so yeah. much stuff that's blown out. They're all like way too like warm and just weird. And there's, right like, here it stops. Any detail, I mean, this is. I mean, this is incredible. The left yeah. just killed it so so well. So, iPhone. Wow. Once again. And now we have our first nighttime portrait shot. All of these are super weird. Okay, so the first photo, the the portrait, like on all of them got kind of messed up, especially the center one. There's so much stuff here that did not get blurred <laughs> out. On this one, the cutout in the back is like all messed up. There's a little bit here too, mm -hmm. but it's not as bad. And it sucks, I really like the center photo but this is just so messed up. Yeah, I would agree. I really, really wanted to choose the center until I noticed how bad it messed up here, and I noticed all the reflections from the yeah. lights, just which totally ruined it. I mean, you could crop in, but it's just, I don't know, kind of ruined it for me. And this also has reflections too, Yeah, but you don't notice looks... it as much. This one's just horrible. Like, it's all blurry. It's not sharp at all. Like, mm. I don't like that at all. I'm going with the left. There you go. Oh, man. <laughs> So notes right there. <coughs> that pixel one me. looks really good, but that is really bad. I don't know what the iPhone did. And night mode, except for this time we have the ultra wide camera. Man, the center is center. killer. Center. Man, look at that. Yeah. It is so sharp and that light. It looks so good. It's so sharp. It's not smudged out like these two. It's like blurry. You guys already chose. That but I'll is point incredible. this out. This looks so okay. flat and evenly lit. Like everything's so bright. Mm -hmm. Where this, wow. you have the dynamic range. Yeah, Love the lights, but then it gets darker, shadowing. It looks like a DSLR shot. And it's a 12 Pro Max. That is killer. And here we have a portrait shot at night in the, in a dark alley with very dark lighting. So left, left. easy. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Easy. Pixel. 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 Five. That one's way better. And the note, I actually took the note shot a couple times. Did you? Because I saw that it was just uh, smeared. It's like out of focus. And it, uh, it's it's too too long. Um, what exposure. Do you call it? Yeah, the, the exposure is just too long, and it kept blurring it out. Mm. I try to be fair to it, but and we have uh, another portrait shot here. I really like the one on the left because of the detail. Looks the really good, one but looks I'm good too. seeing some weird kind of like fading at the top, right? And also like her boots are kind of crushed as far as the detail. I really love the center, even though it has the reflections, which the are kind of weird. The center just good. It looks good and it kind of matches the lighting. It's warm lit. I really hate the reflection that's going on. <laughs> it's just so weird. The one in the center, or and that's the because left doesn't look the best. There's like a million lights here, mm -hmm. which is not your typical situation. I think the photo itself of like up. the middle, she looks the best and most natural, but that's just so mm -hmm. weird. So are you voting? So I'm gonna go with the left. Okay, 12 Pro Max for me. That's killer. And we have one more ultra wide shot here. I think I definitely like the one on the left. See, I think the center is kind of like too bright. It's kind of overexposed with all the reflections and stuff. The one on the right, I was liking until I saw the tree and it's just so no soft. Detail. So I think for the most balance, I think the left. No, no 20. 20 Ultra. And this is a zoom shot at night. I think this is four times zoom. And this shot, there's a ton of differences, a ton that I wasn't expecting. I'm going with, oh man, that's hard. They all suck. <laughs> oh no, that's hard. Can I skip? No, you can't skip. I mean, there's some. I don't want to get. I can't, I'm not saying any, anything yet, but I don't I'll want point. Any of these in my phone? All right, so the one on the left, I kind of like it because you're seeing the detail in the brick. However, the clock is blown out for some reason, and the sky doesn't really look dark. It looks kind of gray. I really like the one on the right. Mm -hmm. The sky is really dark, so you get some contrast in between them. I think I'm going with the right overall. I like the contrast of the sky. Yeah, the center one looks pretty awful, but if I had to have one of these in my phone, 
I think I'd rather have the right one because I feel like you could do something to kind of make it look better to fix it, but the left one is just so blown out. I don't think you'd be able to bring the detail back. No, you can't. Pixel 5, wow, for <laughs> the Zoom. One, the one phone <laughs> that doesn't have a telephoto zoom <laughs> at nighttime, when you're zooming, zooming in four times, looks the best. And the one phone that has it's a four crazy. times zoom, these two are digitally cropped in. <laughs> the one phone that has a four times zoom bad. looks the worst. And here's another Whoa. shot here. So this is a two times zoom shot. Left, easy. Left, the I other mean, two look bad. You actually get a black sky and everything. I mean, yeah. everything else is horrible. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It looks like nighttime. Pixel Pixel five. five. Once again, I'm and nice. it's two times zoom That's digitally. Good. These aren't digitally cro cropped. This That's is good. actually maybe the note is. How so do you might need to like use that? the other sensor. I don't know. So here we have a portrait shot. I think I like the one in the center the most. It's definitely not the right. I don't like how that looks at all. For it's me, between, it's definitely not the left. Between the left and the center. I kind of like the left, but I'm seeing so much noise yeah. everywhere. That's the only downside. I'm still going with the center. Yeah, just like you. 12 Pro Max. The one on the left is the worst one. Dude. No, that one. This I'd rather garbo. have that in my phone than that. Okay, garbo. guys, you agreed on the one that you <laughs> chose. All right, and this is the Spokane Falls. So this is a nighttime shot, which actually, when you have a long exposure, blurs out the water, which looks really cool. All right, so the center is garbage. Yep. It's so much artifacting. Between the left and the right, I think I'm seeing quite a bit more detail on, on the, the left. left. Yep. 12 Pro Max. And I think this might be the last one, but I don't remember. Center. I love the contrast of the center. Like, you've got very black sky right there, and it's also really sharp as well, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, center for sure. I think in this photo, the center one does look like it has the most detail and it looks the best, but then the second would be the, the one on the right. 12 Pro Max. 12 Pro Max. So this is using the standard lens on all of them, a night mode shot. Absolutely the right. Yeah. Wow, I am <laughs> blown away by both of these. It's just so flat. The tree is so flat, but look, you have different colors. There's so much dimension. On the right, like you got the leaves, you got the green, wow. And you have shadowing in the shadow shadow spots and then you have bright spots as well. I chose this scene that is incredible. because of these lights. It was so mm -hmm. dynamic at mm -hmm. night. That's oh. the iPhone and... The one on the left. The other two just look kind of like smudged. They're soft, yeah. almost look like they're out of focus. Yeah. The one on the left. And it was extremely the dark. They're not none of these yeah. are out of focus. It was just so dark. Super dark. Okay. Yeah. 12, 12 Pro Max. And look, the front the front camera hasn't changed at all. Yeah. But you guys see how dark that contrast is? So it's the processing has changed. And it's more sharp, yeah. And then the notes all flat here. And this is a video. Let's go ahead and hit play. And it was like crazy dark outside as you can see. I mean, center, well, right? Just watch through. We didn't even got to do it like <laughs> From the beginning, the center. On this freeze, freeze frame, I'm, I'm seeing the detail in the tree. It's the only one that shows detail and the lights are nice and crisp black sky. I agree. And then this surprised me. Look at that, you have all the dynamic range here instead of mm -hmm. all the blown out smudgy wow. mess. Impre impressive. And that's the 12 Pro Max. And once again, this is without Crazy. Dolby Vision enabled because we couldn't do the comparison, so. And I believe this is now the last shot. <laughs> Hopefully it's the last shot. All right, so I just stared at these for a little bit and it's between the left and the right. The one in the center is just kind of like flat and the sky is all kind of artifact-y. Gray. <laughs> kind of gray. Easy. Now, Easy. the one on the left, <laughs> the one on the left looks a little bit flat. With all these buildings, it's all kind of like flat, whereas you're getting a lot of contrast in between all the details on the right, so. The right that's is the one. so much better. Like that chase sign is not as blown out. You can see it inside here. You can mm -hmm. see a lot more detail. This, there's so much blown out in there. Kills it. Pixel! Pixel five. Pixel. There you go. Good night mode. And that That's is it. it. So you guys, make sure you guys pause right now, count up which ones you voted, and make sure you comment down below, and then tell us if you were surprised by anything. You guys count up. I got 16 for the 12 Pro Max. I have seven for the Note 20 Ultra, and I have eight for the Pixel 5 this time. 
I also have 16 for the iPhone. Really? But I have six for the Note 20 and nine for the Pixel. So I got A one little more bit more than Pixel. Note 20. Hey. And then for me, I'm excited to know what these averaged out to. I know some of you guys asked for this because like in this situation, both the 12 Pro Max, Pixel 5, both looked good and only one gets the point, which mm -hmm. makes a bigger difference. Um, so I ranked them from one to five and what is my result? All right, so I averaged them out earlier and... And that was before she saw any of the photos or anything at all. You see the order. So the Pixel got 3.4 average out of, out five. of five. Okay. The Note got a 3.2. Average out of five, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max got a 3.86. Wow, so that shows you guys how close mm -hmm. these phones are. I will also say that a lot of the situations here were very tough, mm -hmm. um, very tough lighting and stuff like that. If you're in perfect lighting, all these phones are gonna do a great job. Uh, so it looks like the iPhone got, you said 3.8 compared to 3.3 and 3.2. 3.86. Yep. Um, I noticed, a difference in some of the cases where the pixel lost, it's because it didn't have a good zoom camera. It has to digitally zoom in on the main sensor to do portrait shots. Of course it does great in low light and it didn't do very well in video. It by far did the worst in video. Mm -hmm. uh, the Note 20 Ultra, it actually got a lot of fives. So I did a lot of awesome shots, but it also had by far the most ones. Mm -hmm. And I don't think uh, the pixel got one one, iPhone didn't have any. iPhone didn't have any ones. And then the Note 20, Edge has just situations where the sky looks gray or there's all this artifacting because of all the extra processing it has to do because of its sensors and resolution. Whereas the 12 Pro Max is all around good. And then of course the video shots that we had, it, it kills it in video. So, but it's nice to see that overall score. So make sure you guys let us know what scores you got and if anything really surprised you down in the comment section below. And if you wanna see the comparison against the 12 Pro and maybe the regular 12 to see how much better is the Max, is it worth getting the larger size? Make sure you guys subscribe down below. And there's a couple other great videos right over there. This one, Max and Vadim. And then Angelica. thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.